What's up guys? You seeing any elk around here by chance? No? Should I just keep going straight? All right. Just checked elevation, 11 to 11,241 feet to be exact. It's a little thin up here, but I'm taking my time. It's been like, uh, I think 45 minutes, something like that. And I've only gone like a mile, but this is pretty steep and pretty thin. So I'm really taking my time. I'm trying to get to that's kind of like a 30 minute mile. I just heard that 30 minute miles are kind of a good pace for higher altitudes and you know loaded backpacks. Let's see. Loaded up. Loaded up to the brim. I'm guessing probably a little over 65 pounds plus the chest harness, including the chest harness. Yeah, so pumped up. Music Pass, Colorado. And welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. I am out hunting. I apologize for my sweaty head and labored breathing. And unfortunately, the smoke from the wildfires out west have made it here. So it's kind of hazy, kind of smoky. But look at this view nonetheless. Unbelievable. I am definitely not in Missouri. So I'm here, not in this particular spot, but I'm here in Colorado for two weeks, technically a little over two weeks. And this is day one. This is a mountain range that I wanted to hike and get up to the very southern east uh, side of this mountain range. And it goes miles and miles and miles and miles that way north. So I'm going to plan to just check out areas, you know, do some scouting, you know, look for sign, look for trails, look for, you know, elk. 
Um, I've got an over-the-counter archery tag for both bull, bull or cow. Um, probably going to take whatever comes my way first. <sighs> Just no words. Um, I haven't heard any bugles, but this is my first day. In fact, I've only been out, quote-unquote, elk hunting for an hour and a half. And that hour and a half has been just walking on the trail. So, anyway, thanks again for clicking on the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to try and get as much captured as possible. And, uh, yeah, come along for the ride. Great Sand Dunes National Preserve. That's a marker. This is officially Music Pass. Supposedly, you can hear some musical notes from the winds that blow through here. Sangre de Cristo Wilderness and the Great Sand Dunes. Great Sand Dunes on this side. Wilderness on this side. So, for my first day, I think I'm going to hunt this side of the ridge, of the range, of that peak, and catch that Nice, easy walking over there with all this deep, dark timber, and hopefully there's some foliage over there that, you know, the elk like to eat on. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go find ourselves a place to camp tonight. Unfortunately, I have not seen any elk sign. There's the pass. This is what I was talking about, hunting this area here. Just on this, this same contour. And hopefully, they're hanging out down here in this thick timber and in that thick timber over there. And I got plenty of escape routes. The amount of hunting pressure, I'm assuming they're not bugling because of that not too late for this area. They may have been all blown out of here. Anyway, I'm gonna try and find a flat spot. Pitch my tent, get some dinner. Also, it would be nice if I could find some water. I'm not out of water. I brought two liters with me, but I've already gone through half of a liter, and I don't wanna have to go to over one of those lakes to get water. That would suck. Not sure, but this might be my home for the night. I only brought two days worth of food because my thinking was to come in here, check out the hunting pressure, check out the sign. You know, if I see sign, great. You know, I can go back to the ranger and uh, run back down the mountain, back to the truck, and grab some food. So that was the that was the intent was to find find an area that I can camp for at least a night, maybe two depending on hunting pressure and elk kind. So far, hunting pressure way high. Elk sign, negative. There she is. Little slipping this way, but my head's gonna be up here, so I'll be all right. In case you're wondering, Alps Mountaineering Zephyr 2. This is a two-man tent, and I like it. I'm really stretched out over here. That'll be my morning view. Plus, music passes right through there. So I'm going to set up tonight. I'm going to set up tonight right here and just glass this area. Just going to walk around and just kind of glass and see if something pops out and see if I can't pick apart this country a little bit. See if... Uh, I find some grassy spots or something like that. And yeah, crossing fingers at this point. Just trying to use the skills that I've had from deer hunting back in the Midwest. Something just caught my eye over here. I don't know what it is. Let's go check it out. It's a gas can. Look at that. Oh. Anything bad in this? 
but it's got gas in it too. That thing is full. Huh. That's not good. Somebody forgot the gas can. view tonight's dinner peak refuel sweet pork and rice shredded pork with rice and veggies with brown sugar glaze I'm gonna eat the whole thing I'm not eating half a pack that's just silly I thought I cleaned it. Apparently, there's a stain in there. Okay. We're blazing. Alright. Let's go check out the sunset. I like this vlog. It's pretty cool. See what it looks like over here. Guys, the video just does not do it justice. Wish you were here. It's pretty fabulous. It's pretty awesome. Let's go check on that water. I want that in there. So it looks like. I think you can see it. Thing about the peaks is there's no corners for food to get stuck in and not get mixed up. It smells good. Seal it up and wait 10 minutes. That's the last of the water for today. I were up two liters and I'm going to try and serve, conserve the uh, other one liter bottle until I find water. Look at that. Smells fantastic. Look at that tasty goodness. Mm. That chunk is still taking a little bit more time. It's been 15 minutes. It says I'm supposed to wait 10. It's pretty tasty. I did a little glassing a little bit ago. These 12 by 50s are nice. They get out there. I'm going to finish eating and I'll see you guys 
um, in a little bit. Well, guys, I guess you can see me. I am in bed. Uh, let's see what's going on in here. So, I've got a little pocket up here for knickknack paddy wicks. Here's the bottom. I got just my bags, the hat, the pants. These are down sleeping socks, just in case my feet get cold and I don't want to put socks on. This bag is full of clothes. I got two pillows. I'm bougie like that. So there's my marsupial gear stuff. Got my Glock right here, just in case. This is my inReach, my rangefinder, binos. I got a little first aid safety uh, kit inside of here, and then my tags are inside of there too. That's the that's the side that you saw earlier. That I'm actually facing that hillside. There's my boots. You can see them. My cook kit, my boots, tripod. I think that's all I have out there. Flipping over to the other side. This is kind of like my toiletries bag. A spare windicator, hand soap. It's my official toiletries bag. Uh, charger for my action cam. This had extra batteries. That's a rangefinder battery. These are extra batteries for my headlamp. Paracord, Kuka. Inside of there is a couple bottles of, just a bottle of seasoning and a bottle of oil. These are flash drives, so I can back up all my videos. Uh, extra, I guess this is called a reed, but it's not really a reed. It's for that bugle tube. This is um, extra strapping for my mystery ranch. This is a racquetball, clearly. It's for stretching out my plantar fasciitis if I get any so far so good it also feels really good just rolling around underneath your foot after a long day of hiking here's my bow it's like super encroaching right now trekking poles right there my bow there's my Metcalf my one liter a bottle of one my last one liter bottle of water I'll get it out a mattress an air mattress I guess and by the way, this is a Pyrea Recharge XL. It is fantastic, and it's half the price of the Thermarest. It's got a, uh, about a three inch, maybe it's, it's more like two and a half, but the R value on it is exceptional for the price. Yeah, I really like this thing. Other than being just slippery, which, you know, I guess you're going to get that whatever one you get. Uh, yeah, this is a uh, Spike Camp. Spike camp day number one. I'm terrible at this. I stopped being lazy. This thing got my camera light. Chad, you're gonna get blinded. I gotta get all my, I get all my electronics connected to my charger. And uh, I'm now starting to feel like I'm getting a little tired. Weather-wise, couldn't ask for a better day. I mean, there's hardly any wind. We're gonna have pretty clear skies tonight. The forecast is pretty much gonna be the same thing for the next 10 days, unless the environment up in the mountains calls for something different, which is very, very possible. We're talking low 80s, low 50s, clear skies, lots of sun. My body feels pretty good. I didn't really push it too hard. I forgot to stretch again before I started hiking, getting all my stuff together. So dumb, but I'm, I don't feel like I'm paying the price right now because it took so much time getting up here. I took a lot of breaks. I was taking a lot of B-roll and a lot of pictures and just, you know, trying to maintain my breathing and not die. Yeah, not much on day one. Like I said, it was a short day. Started late, got here super late. When we had about, by the time I got my tent set up and uh, started eating, it was already dark, as you saw. That uh, sweet and sour pork was pretty damn good. I'm definitely going to get that again. I highly recommend it. Peak refuel, sweet and sour pork. Good job. It still doesn't feel like I'm at 11,400, almost 400 feet. 
Yeah, I mean, really, other than that, I'm just kind of hoping for, you know, some luck tomorrow. So far, there's five tents in this area, mine included. There's two up here by me, up on the other side of this ridge, and then there's two down in that valley. And I hope that that's all. But anyway, like I said, I'm rambling on again. I'm going to try and get comfortable, not slip off this sleeping pad, and uh, try and get a good night's sleep. So, I will see you guys in the morning. Outside the tent, if that makes any sense. I'm just kind of looking over there to see if there's any movement. I gotta decide if I'm going to break down camp and just take it with me or leave it here because I have to come back this way anyway. I don't know what I'm gonna do just yet but i do know i need to go pee and i need to get some breakfast and some water so i'm gonna get going here and i will see you guys in a second greatest but there's oatmeal protein powder um, craisins and I got some peanut butter to go with it Got a big lump of peanut butter in it, but you can see cranberries, that superfood, wholemeal. And there you go, mountain oatmeal.
finger this gloves and I'm kind of wishing I put my finger gloves on. My fingertips are freezing. Pretty awesome sunrise. And besides all the haze and smoke that's in the air, it's ultra quiet. It was super quiet last night. It's super quiet right now. Other than the occasional breeze, I can't hear anything. I could probably hear a pin drop on the other side of that hill over there. It's so quiet. It's so awesome. Alright guys, my plan is, is to, to circle around this, this area and try to get to that back mountain. The wind is in my favor. I'm going to try and just stick it close to the close to the thick. It's really thick. A lot of conifers. A lot of spruces. A lot of pines. Uh, barely any aspen from what I can tell. But let me show you. So there's that mountain that I've been taking pictures of. Back mountain is right around over there. I think there's a saddle right here in front of me. first elk sign. It's super dry poo. I don't see any tracks. No human, which is good, but no elk or deer or anything. So I'm going to stay on contour and try and get through this thick. I mean, this is like a great bedding area, but I'm not seeing any beds and no tracks on this trail. There's a bucket. There's a trap underneath that tree. I wonder if there's a camera. I hope I'm not on camera already. Might be. I wonder what that's for. See cameras, and this is still just super great bedding area. See, now we got some grasses. I don't see anything that's it's pretty wild. Interesting mushroom. That is super fresh. That is today. Bugle. 
couple of them. Um, wait, I mean, way over there. I'm not checking off that milestone because I can't tell if it's a hunter or not. It sounded like a hunter. There was one that was closer than the other one. So they both could be bulls. I don't know. That's definitely good news. Definitely good news. I was just up here just getting my stuff back together. Been sitting here for, I guess, about two hours now. I uh, took a little bit of a nap, ate lunch, had some fruit roll ups, a that's it bar, and an applesauce. So that's technically my lunch today, and I'm down to a cup of water. I'm not going to chase those bugles, but I do know what direction they came in, which is basically north of me. So they were either down at the bottom of this ravine or up the hillside on the other side. That's kind of strange also because you know, 12 o'clock, 12.30, they should be bedding down. They shouldn't be really calling to each other from what I heard. So that's why I kind of feel like it's hunters, but I don't know. Stay tuned. So I'm going to go ahead and push on to this next hilltop, see what this saddle has to offer. I'm not going to come back this way. I'm going to go down and hopefully cross um, one of the two ravines and hopefully there's some water. If not, then I think I'm going to have to go back to base camp, tear it down, pack up. So anyway. There's another portion of these woods that I want to hunt, and that trail is right over here. And that's kind of the area I was glassing to see what, see what that looked like if I go there. There's a lot of fingers of woods that go through there. You see all those openings? That should be pretty good hunting. And then there's some openings down here on this, I mean this is all south facing which is not ideal, but they still walk south facing stuff. Um, there's some openings here that I was glassing, there's actually a bunch of, there's deadfall right there. I was glassing that and of course I was glassing all, all this over here, all these edges and stuff. I didn't pick up anything, I thought I did a couple times, I thought I saw I thought I saw a huge bull, but it turned out to be a horizontal. It turned out to be a horizontal stump. Anyway, it is now 2:30. I am going to start heading back. There was a lot of dry, old scat here. I was expecting to see some fresh, but no fresh scat. Um, no beaten down grass like uh, like they've been walking through here. I, I know that deer and elk are in here. In fact right below me. That's deer scat, but you can see it's super old. So you know they're in here. They were probably just pushed out this past weekend and moved to areas where a lot of hunters don't want to go, which is steep and deep. Ugh, this is 
this water thing is killing me. So I think the best plan is to head back to camp and hopefully I get there before dark. That's a beautiful sight right there. left at 2.30. It was a mile, like 1.6 miles. It's now 4.30. And I am beat, mostly because I'm super dehydrated. No water along the way here in any of those ravines. This is what I have left for water. I've been milking the last half of this liter since pretty much after breakfast. So I'm gonna take all this weight off. Take my boots off, probably lay down for a little bit, catch my breath, and then figure out what I'm gonna do. Whether I'm gonna stay here tonight or go back down to the truck. I am having a blast. This is great. As you can tell, I'm in the tent. It is not broken down, and I am not hiking down the trail. I made an executive decision to decide to stay the night here, um, just because I'm exhausted from not having any water, that I better just take it easy. I better just rest. A little bit of extra sleep, I guess, if I even get any sleep. Um, it is now almost six o'clock. I think it was almost eight something, nine o'clock last night when I went to sleep. But it's going to be an early night for me tonight. And I got everything pretty much packed up, ready to go for tomorrow, other than some necessities. So first light, I'm going to break down camp, head down the trail, and definitely do some regrouping. morning guys it's day officially day two as you can see I got camp broke down and I'm just uh, kind of just taking my time until then I'm really feeling the lack of water and another beautiful sunrise I guess it was about six o'clock. I was kind of like dozing off and I heard a couple bugles down in this basin over here. I was over here and I checked out that saddle yesterday. Well, last night down in here, or maybe down in this cut, I heard a bugle. And immediately after that, I heard a bugle way over there. I mean, so, so faint. They did it twice, both of them did. Again, I can't say that they're elk or they're hunters. I don't know. I'm not experienced enough to, to make that call. It could be either one.
some water. It's a little bit. Ahead. Fill up a couple water bottles with some not freezing water. Make some breakfast. We're gonna pull up steaks and we're gonna get out of here. I just had to cut off the waller dot in there. It's coming out now. Steamy. Looks pretty tasty. Mm, smells pretty good too. Well, this is all I can grab. <laughs> Folders, Noir, Golden Dusk, Medium Dark. I've actually had both of these before, so I don't mind mixing them. Now well, I'd say another three minutes before our breakfast is ready. guys it's been about 13 minutes I'm not a big fan of instant coffee but it's gonna do it's gonna have to do okay, let's see this breakfast looks good smells good Could go probably another five minutes. So I'm gonna finish eating. I'm gonna finish packing up, get the ranger loaded up, and then we're gonna get out of here. Get a shower, regroup. I got a lot of stuff I gotta reorganize and kind of replan, re-strategize. You know, dump some stuff out of the pack, put some different stuff in. Um, definitely figure out a water strategy. That was huge. That sucked. You would think that Colorado there would be water behind every tree. Not so much, but. Anyway, I'll catch up with you guys here in a little while. Water, water. Oh, nice bridge. There's a flat spot in here. It wouldn't be a bad spot to camp. Yeah, there is one. So this goes up in there.
Yep, you guessed it. Do you think it's going to be cold? Oh yeah, I think it's going to be very cold. Oh boy, yeah, it's cold. <laughs> oh, that is icy. I can't stand it anymore. That's so cold. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Dude, that is way too cold. Ten seconds tops. Yeah. That's all I can stay in. My hands are shaking. I'm not getting quality video here. Look at these. Oh yeah, he's bigger than I thought. Yeah. There's one, just two of them just came out from underneath that shadow into the log. There's three of them over oh, there. Yeah, I see. See any mountain goats, do you? We will not be taking those paths today. That is tonight's dinner. 9th of September. It is quarter to nine. I'm finally in my tent. So I just got here a little bit ago. I was pretty indecisive about what I wanted to do today after our long journey. I'm going to that, it's that stage where you're like, there's so many options and I don't know which one to pick. There was a hope that I was going to be able to get across this pass and get into this basin. I came into that basin from the south on Tuesday and I wanted to come into that same basin from the north today, but I didn't read the lay of the land correctly and um turns out the the mountains got in the way and we're not about to hike over some mountains it took us pretty much all day just to get up to the top um glad we did it was fun took my bow with me just in case we didn't see nary a critter birds that's about it so i'm in a completely different spot currently i'm just east of the rainbow trail kind of south where i want to hunt i'm trying to decide if i want to get up early and try and catch the elk coming out of the fields there's a spot right near here that doesn't have any private land chances are i'm not going to get up that early it was a pretty long day today and i'm pretty beat and i still gotta eat chicken teriyaki rice from peak refuel pretty good probably shouldn't be eating it in my tent because it's going to smell and there's bears around here but there's bugs outside also too and i just don't want to be bothered what i think i'm going to do tomorrow is i'm going to get up um, I'm a brick camp and then I'm gonna head north There's the South Colony Creek. Then there's the Middle Colony Creek. Then there's the North Colony Creek I talked to some guys that were coming out this evening and they were up there also and they saw some elk They saw some bulls and got close to a cow. So yeah, I'm either going to go between the Middle Creek and the North Creek or Between the South and the Middle because I don't know how long of a hike it's gonna be and I brought a lot of water because I'm <laughs> Definitely afraid of running out of water. However, I'm right by a river. The reason why this spot here has so much water is because there's lakes at the top. 
It didn't dawn on me that that totally makes sense. I mean, there's snow melt. Well, the Middle Creek doesn't have any lakes, but the North Creek does. So I guarantee you there's going to be water flowing off the North, North Creek. If I can stand the hike, I'm going to try and get to that North Creek tomorrow so that I can hunt it on Saturday. The muzzleloader folks are coming in on Saturday. That's when muzzleloader starts around here. I'm still feeling pretty optimistic. My expectations are still pretty pretty minimal. I would like to see an elk. That would be that would be nice. I mean, so far I've checked off a couple boxes. Spike camped. That was a box I wanted to check. Another check box is just you know, hiking up to the Music Pass. That was a big one. Seeing a deer. The other check box was checking areas in general, like this area today where we walked up. I can pretty much chalk that up as not a huntable area. So got that box checked. So with that being said, I am really hungry and I am going to finish eating this delicious meal and I'd probably crash out. So I will see you guys in the morning.